be willing to, to go for the rival of PBS, PBN? Sure, I'll do news? anything. Because all I want is, I want exposure. Exposure is huge. And it's really not about the money. Because, uh, however, now listen to this, guys, okay? A man, his success is measured by the money he makes. Okay? But there's another part in my heart. Emotionally, the measure of success is built off the amount of people that I can reach and love. Frankly, what I do in a lot of my films, some of it is offensive to people. I'm very brash, I'm honest, but I love people. And sometimes if I feel like somebody is being mistreated or abused or bullied, I'll stand up and I say something. I'll get into people's faces and say, you can't do that, don't treat people like that. But I don't back down, you know. I'm a big guy, smart, tough, and people know that. And so in some of my videos, there have been things that were captured on a film. I'll stand up in the camera and I'll challenge people. Don't do that. You can't treat people like that. And people write me like, how can you talk to people like that? Well, they were they were harassing somebody, you know? And when I do that, people kind of, when I, when I confront people, say, don't treat people like that. They back down. But I'm a foreigner in a foreign country. So some people say, you can't act like that. But I mean, with my work with the Guardians, that's a part of what I do. I'm supposed to stand up and confront people. If I see a trouble, I'm supposed to say, no, no, you can't do that. And I do what's right. I don't break the law. I try to help people in, in ways that might be progressive. But another thing I want, I expose this on YouTube. Filipinos are beautiful. They are nice, nice people. They're loving, they're kind, they're welcoming. Her, his brother, he doesn't make much money. And he worked with me for one day. And I gave him 300 pesos. When I gave his brother 300 pesos for helping me, he immediately took that money and he bought me food. I didn't say I, I didn't ask for food, but that's the beauty of Filipinos is he, he worked hard. I gave him money and he loves me. He went and bought me food because he wanted to treat me to food. And that is the heart of the Filipino people. You go somewhere where people are poor and they give you food and they give you alcohol, beer, Red Horse, Panda White, they give you something that they paid for and they don't have much, but what they have they give you because they, they love, they know how to show love to people and that hits my heart. That's very moving. And I see corruption, corrupt government, and the rich and powerful, the businessman who is a rich Filipino, they mistreat people. They don't treat people right and I don't like that. And so what I do a lot in my media is that I expose them. Like, his net worth is like 12.3 billion US dollars and he rips off Filipinos. How dare you do that? You can't rip people off. You know, and I said in one of my videos, I was talking to a Filipino at a cockfighting arena. I, I talked about being American. And I said it amazes me how Americans have everything. And they sit around and they complain. They complain. They're not happy. Filipinos have nothing. And they're happy. They're giving their kind. There's something wrong with that. You know? Because it doesn't matter where you're from. It's what's in your heart. And Filipinos, all they have is heart and love and kindness. Because what else do they have to give? But then I see the rich and powerful and corruption rip off people who are good people. And that makes me upset. And so I kind of use those messages in some of my media because it creates respect and support and love for me from the common and challenges the rich and powerful of the government to do what is right. You don't, you don't rip off Filipinos. Don't rip off people who are working hard. You know, does that make sense? But it's a long process to correct that, and nobody can do that alone. And I want my media, media to be somewhat of a, of a way to help people with that. That's probably got its roots. Yeah. Its origins from the colonial past. We were exploited and first by Spaniards, yeah. and by, by, by the Americans, yeah. and by the Japanese. It has somehow ingrained in the Philippines yeah. the idea of you know, being passive about, you know, about being oppressed, about being, yeah. you know, uh, discriminated against. Yeah. Somehow it has been ingrained in the subcon. So it is a this this is why this, this what's happening now, especially the, the, the technological revolution going on now, the internet and all these things. It is a good way of speeding up and correctional process, no? Correctional process of, of uh, pointing out this this uh, the, the the historical basis why why Filipinos can be so you know, subservient 
you know, very, they're not, even if they're being, uh, they're being screwed, they're, 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 they're still, you don't know, want to, you know, to stand up to it, like that. And it's, uh, if you think it's a very positive uh, development. You like what I'm trying to do? Yeah, it's yeah, good. It is, it is, man. It is good. I, it is good. I am it is good. so it is glad good. that I can talk to you about it this. It is good, man. It's because good. I respect your opinion. Yeah, it is good. Because uh, it, it would take a, a not, the uniqueness of this thing. It's took the perspective of a non Filipino, an American, like you, to, to, to point out things that are not so good in our society and in how people treat other people. Yeah. The, the nagging question there would be. Why can't we take it up among ourselves, yeah. among ourselves, Filipinos, yeah. a country, as a nation, to foreigner to, to, to point out these things? Isn't that the uniqueness of this, this thing? I see a lot of uh, oppression going on. And, uh, I see a lot of things that you're saying or doing. Now, I have to be very tactful and, you have to. and you have smart. To. Yeah. But I want to see, I can't attack a government as a foreigner. I can't attack Ayala directly. Big business, yeah. But if I do it right, then they'll hate me, but I want to do just enough to create the right amount of attention yeah. where they can't do anything yeah. because I could get kicked out of the country. We yeah, don't want you. But if I do it right, then the Filipino people will stand with me and say, no, no, he's ours, because my heart belongs to the Philippines. I love Filipino people. I hate the corruption. And so if I do it right and not give me any grounds to legally kick me out, and with Duterte as president, I think he would have my back. And, you know, I really got involved in here. But I think I can do it where it, it's not going to be an easy road, but it'll be rewarding. It's a kind of a crusade, you know, some kind of crusade. You like what I'm doing? You support me in this? Sure, man. But I want to help people with their dreams. Because just because you grew up in downtown, you know, Carbon, and you might not have anything, it doesn't mean that you can't be a doctor or a rock star. You just might have to work a little harder. When you grow up in certain environments or communities, you are not aware that you can be above anything. I want to do this. You know, and I want to help follow your dreams. You look like you need to subscribe. Subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you're doing well. Much love. Peace out.